Okay, if you've got you mental health problems, you. get yourself an Amy. This is my and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my sister Amy. Hello. Hello. So today we are going to be doing a very long awaited video. How long have we been, how long have I been asking you to do this video for? A while, but uh, I don't... Like a long, I, I'd say like over a year. No, we've talked about it for over a year, but we've, I've never been like, actually going to do, do it. it. Let's do it. So um, today we are going to be venturing into Amy's brain. That's weird. No, it is yours. <laughs> <laughs> True. So today we asked on my Instagram for mm. any questions regarding the topic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding Amy's hand. Get <laughs> off. Get away. So we asked for any questions on my Instagram uh, regarding the topic of how I dealt with it. How dealt with what? Your mental illness. Mental health. Yeah, and how everything came about. So how did you react when I told you? That was the most common question, like how, how did you find out? And a lot of people don't even know. Do you, how many people have you told this to? Yeah. Yeah? I'm filming a video, Dad. Can I come in? Yeah. I found that when I was walking. No, oh my God, I thought he was going to bring it out like a bear. <laughs> so you just stole it. Why would you take it? Well, I don't know, it's on the floor. <laughs> okay, it's nice. You want it? Let's I actually might wear well, it. If you, you know, wash, if you it. wash it. Yeah, wash it, wash it, huh? What do you think? I do yeah. like that actually. You wanna try it on? Not, the Not right, right now. Right now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So Amy, how did you find out from your perspective? This video is gonna be from Amy's perspective of what was going on and I will kind of add in any details that I feel like need to be said. Yeah, so it was on my twelfth birthday. Thirteenth, I'm sure it was, I'm sure you were right. What year? Let's look at the first 2014? No. I joined Ulithor in 2013. Yeah, and it wasn't that year, it was the year after. It was 2014. So I was 12 when I actually found out, right? But it started the day before my 13th birthday. Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good. Don't okay. get upset. No, though. I'm not going to get upset. Not, you know I, I, I can know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Don't get upset because I'm it's not, not gonna worth get upset. It. But what it's not happened? Worth it. nah. <laughs> what happened? We went out for a meal, and um, Marie wanted to log into my Instagram. <laughs> great one, Marie. And I was like, Yeah, of course you can. And she logged in, and it was all great, fine and dandy, until I went onto my phone. And I was like, Oh, she hasn't logged out. I'll log out. And I went. And I, I didn't know that. That's how you found it. How else did you think I found I it? I thought you were just like top stalker. <laughs> right. So I went onto the phone. And I don't know how I got into the DMs and it was all a bit up in the DMs, yeah. <laughs> in the DMs. So I slid into her DM, no joking. <laughs> so I went into the DM and I found photos of just not nice things, self-harm Okay. And I was like... Was that from my account to another account? I think you sent it from your account to the other account. That I, was ha that I had? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So... And I was obviously like, this can't be true, like, this isn't Marie. Because mm. you never showed any signs. This was at the early stages as well. It really? was, it was, was like a year before it even came out. Like, Amy was the first, first person, person ever, ever to find out. So she found out because I had this kind of account, account which yeah. was really bad, but it's kind of like... <laughs> I, we're basically holding each other's hand here. I had this other account, which was like... I don't know what they even call it. Just this kind of wreck account. I don't yeah. know why I had it. I was, how old was I? I think you were just a bit lost. 16. Really. That's weird that you're my age. That's weird. Mm -hmm. I think I was 16. Um, so yeah, you found them photos and I, at this point, I didn't know that you knew. No. You're such a stalker going into my DMs. I don't know how I did though, because I wasn't looking for anything, do you know what I mean? So I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I was on it and I was just a bit like, I was confused at first. And I think I told myself, it's not you. Mm. And then on my birthday, I don't know what happened, you know. Okay, I this is what I remember. So, I found out that you knew through Instagram too. So, this just shows there was no communication at this point. No. But we didn't speak about the topic at all. And no. then, on your birthday, I remember you ordered a Chinese and we watched The Ring. That was horrible. And I remember you just kept staring at me and I was like, hmm. <laughs> 
yeah. water was going on. Um, so this was very in... subtle. <laughs> and then I remember, I don't know how I found out that you knew, but anyway, I found out that she knew, and I was like, shit. So how did you feel when you found out? And like, what did you, what did you want to do, or what did you want to happen? Well, it sounds like, Ooh. but I felt like distraught. I was like, who's this person? I don't know who she is any like anymore. It's yeah. like horrible. And I remember just looking at you on that night being like I didn't know what to think. I was honestly just like Whoa. I think also because I was young again. She was, was naive, really young. And I didn't understand at all anything about mental health. Like I wasn't aware, I didn't know. But that's so normal because <clears throat> Amy you gotta remember she was twelve and when I found out that at the time it didn't really hit me but afterwards I was like, Oh my god, you were so fucking young. <laughs> yeah. Um but Amy made the decision not to tell my parents, which I'm very shocked at because I think I would have told. Oh so for sure you would have definitely said that. Hundred percent. But why why did you make the decision not to tell mum and because dad? I knew even though I was so young, I think I have a really high emotional connect, like not connection, empathetic. but empathetic. I don't know how to say it, but I understand people better than they understand themselves sometimes. And I just felt you weren't ready, and mm. I knew that in myself. And I was like, this is not mine to tell. Mm. She needs to do it when she's ready. Of course, I wanted to tell it. I wanted to go straight to them. There was times where I was oh like, my god, yeah. oh my god, when she used to fall out with mom or dad. Because in that go, time, there were so oh many arguments. Because I just, yeah. well, I wasn't very nice, was I? I didn't speak to yeah. any of them. I just stayed in my room all yeah. the time. And then when I did speak to mom or dad, we were just, especially mom, we'd just have a massive argument. Mm. And I remember you used to just scream at mom. <laughs> I'd be like, go! And just make up. I just remember you being upset, like if I went in the shower and that, and like yeah, yeah. So basically, that's how she found out. She found out through Instagram. We didn't speak of it, even though we both knew that each other knew for a good year or uh, well over half. a year. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a long time anyway, and yeah. I didn't tell anyone else, but I knew that Amy knew, and yeah. it was really just like shit. It was difficult, yeah. but I always told myself, if I ever looked on your Instagram and saw something like, today's the day, or like, I'm gonna do it, I'd obviously tell them then. But I always knew, I could, I could justify it. Do you know what I mean? You just made sure that everything was still like, not, not to the worst point. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's go on to the next question. The difficulties of having a sibling suffer with mental illness, how did you support each other? Okay, let's let's put it in, in perspective because now there's a very separate thing, isn't there? There was like past and present. The situation's very different. Yeah. Yeah? Polar opposite. Yeah. So in the past, what did you find the most difficult about everything between 2015, 2014 and when 2000. When mum and dad knew or? The whole of it. What if, if you think of something, what was the worst part of it? What, not being able to tell mum and dad. That was hard, yeah. That was difficult, but also the not knowing what you were going to do next. Mm. It was just a waiting game, really. Yeah. So when I was in hospital, what was the best thing and what was the worst thing at the time? What was the worst thing? The worst thing was... I don't know. I, I think the worst thing was... This sounds really horrible, mm -hmm. but seeing how upset mum and dad were. Yeah. Because I didn't see I didn't see Marie at the time. No. And that's my only regret, I should have went to go see you more. Why? No, because Amy basically, Amy came to see me the day in hospital in. the day after Which I stupid. went in. Um, and obviously I was... Like not horrible. Awful. But, yeah, yeah, no, I was, I was, I was screaming and crying at mum and dad, saying like, "You should, I should." How be did here, you? Yeah. How dare you leave me here yeah. and that? And then the ward was so unsettled as well. <laughs> there was a woman yeah. uh, who was very she, ill, yeah, yeah. but she, uh, she was summoning the Red Indians. Yeah. And Amy was just like, "What, what the, the fuck? fuck is this?" Place? I was like, I was looking at dad like, "What?" Where? But you were really young as well, so Amy never used to come and visit me in hospital, um, especially near the especially start, the first time. because it was just, you would, it was scary for you, it was wasn't horrible. it? It was really scary. I'm allowed to say that. Well, I'll just say the hospital. <laughs> the thing about the hospital was the patients, because they were so ill, Yeah. not only did they not have spatial awareness, they didn't understand the fact that I was not a patient. Mm. I, don't, I, feel like, I feel like they didn't really care, and, and that's 
fine, like that that's justifiable, they shouldn't care, they shouldn't give a shit about who I am. But you just found it just scary because like, it was such a different environment yeah, and I've everyone been, was yeah. very ill and everyone was quite a bit older yeah. and very erratic. And also at the time I wasn't the problem is when I was in hospital was that I would never talk to any of the staff. So mm. it meant that when my mum and dad came I would just offload everything yeah. onto them and I would mum and dad would often get upset. So, Especially mom. Yeah, so I think that was probably, I can understand that was probably the hardest thing. What was the best thing about being in the hospital? <laughs> if horrible, there was anything, or that whole time. It, Just I say it, no. It, the best thing was the fact that you weren't here because I wasn't worried anymore. Yeah, I that's, knew that's that really you good, were yeah. safe. Yeah. I, I just didn't have to worry about it, like, the weight was... Not that you were a weight on my shoulders at the time. No, definitely. No, Amy, you don't have to sense yourself. Like, I totally. You don't have to be like, not this. I don't. I know. It, yeah. it was a difficult I time. I don't have to be the person that has to check up on her every single day anymore mm. and check if she's going to do something. Mm. She, Marie was not my problem anymore. Yeah. And it was. I was in somewhere that. Yeah, exactly. It just alleviated the stress. And the fact that mum and dad knew was so nice because I was able. I didn't. I didn't really see them at the time. Like, obviously I did, but I didn't. I was mainly on my own, which I kind of liked. Yeah, I mean, because obviously, right, so I was in hospital for, like, five months. Yeah. At the start. So this is the first admission. And my mum and dad would work all day and then come and visit me after after work. And they visited me every single day. So mm -hmm. my dad works in France and, like, other European countries, <laughs> yeah. basically. Kevin calls him a drug dealer. She yeah, he's like the mafia. No, <laughs> he's not really. Um, but he would work away so that meant that during the week my mum would have to come and she works in retail like nine Horrible. hours a day yeah. and then having to drive up to this skanky hospital <laughs> and come and visit me who was being a little bitch <laughs> and then come home to Amy at like eight o'clock so you were on your own from you'd leave for school at seven and then come back and be on your own till eight mm. have to make your dinners and that so that's a lot that's a lot I'm Just glad really I had hard. Romers yeah I'm our dog yeah, I'm glad I have rumours. For comfort. It was just, yeah, comfort. But I, it was a regime and I just got into it. It was something that well, I It was a long time, yeah. But Amy's I, very good at just getting on with... You don't really... Like, you stress, but you don't stress. You stress about little things. <laughs> yeah. But not about... You're quite level-headed in big situations. Mm hmm So. Yeah, peacemaker. What are you doing? <laughs> we should get a bunch and then just like yeah spew spew a lot of them have already done but a lot of them are very similar um how did it affect me when you were at your lowest so when when would you say i was oh like, i know for what are you doing <laughs> just, 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 just your arm went around me so i was like no don't touch me don't touch me don't touch me bitch don't touch me bitch when would you say that i was at my lowest the last time you went in Really? Okay. Really, when you... Yeah, I know, but I didn't... I didn't Did really you not think? I don't really remember. Yeah. <laughs> Carry well, on. Yeah, so yeah. next time. Last time. The last time she went in was horrible because not only was I more aware because I was older, I was... 14? 15. 14. 15. I'm only 16, Marie. 14. <laughs> yeah. I was 14 and I was much more aware and I knew what mental illness was and I think it was the biggest shock as well because we thought you were alright and then it just went downhill mm. within a matter of days really. Mm. You had your psychotic stage and it was just a bit like what, who are you? Again, yeah. it was back to that stage And also I, like, I think yeah, by that time everyone was just sick. It was like I can't do this again, do you know what I mean? People were prepared for me to go to hospital for like months. Yeah. They were like, we can't, we can't, you know, they've been through two years of it. When's going it Going into end? hospital, like, it, it it can't carry on that way, yeah. so I can imagine. But how did it affect you? Angry. Yeah. I, wait, I was at my angriest when you, when it happened in May. Yeah, 2015. That was horrible as well. 16, 2016. Because I, Dad had to call me when I was at Parents Evening. I shouldn't even been at Parents Evening because Mum and Dad weren't there. I was just with my friends. <laughs> cool gang in in the may time it was just getting like ugh. everything was building up mm. we knew something was going to happen it was a waiting game again mm. and amy and was at school so i had no way of getting home i didn't know what i was going to do um i had to call 999 and i've never done that before you had to call it from school <laughs> from school 
luckily my friends were there because I don't know what I'd, I would have done without both of them. I know, but All it, just, of them. it shows as well, like, when I think back to that, there was a time, like, last year when I felt a lot of guilt. I think that's when it started to hit me. And obviously I still feel guilty, but at the time I had I no... You what? You no, no, that. no, but I didn't even recognise... I didn't even know that it was your parents even. Like, I was so self-absorbed. Yeah, no, you weren't self-absorbed, Marie, you were ill. I don't know, Amy's just really chill. <laughs> She's just oh, yeah. like, don't feel guilty, it's cool. And I'm like... It's so different, like, we're so different. <laughs> we're so... We're just... <laughs> How are we different? I just don't really care. Like, that's yeah, how like, bad, I doesn't. don't care. Like... I care too much. And no, I don't you care, care at all. You care about people. I care about people, but I don't care about, like, like, say if someone came up to me and was like, you're ugly, I'd be like, yeah, great. <laughs> like, I know. No, but, but I like, don't you care. Don't at care. school, yeah. I never get involved in any confrontation. I can't be bothered for it. But we're both, we're both like that. We're not very confrontational. I'm just a laid back person, you are, but yeah. I don't care. No, and you're very, like, Amy's very sociable, very, like, like, when we were younger, and you know when, like, you have to go and order drinks or something when you're at the pub and you're like, can I have two coats and 80p for the snooker table? Yeah. And I'd be, I'd be like 10, I'd be like, I can't do it. And would be like, pass me the money, bitches. How have you thought that it's changed our family? Well, well it brought us closer together. Pros and cons. Are there any cons, really? No, like, I don't think there's anything, like, in my family it's like, you can say anything now, because it's not going to shock. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm the angel child. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Amy's literally angel. No, I'm not. No, it's just brought us closer together. Dad's much more emotional now. Yeah, definitely. And he understands now. Well, definitely. he always understood, but before, he says that, like, now it's like... I don't know. He just gets it, like, if it... Because, obviously, he's, like, big man in his work. Big manager, top man. Top Luke. Top Luke, get it? Um, but he says, like, in his work, he's so much more mindful of Understanding. people and, mm. like, mental health and, like, how important it is. And he's very, um, the type of dad who gets shit sorted, doesn't he? Yeah. Something goes wrong, it's sorted straight away. Mm. You want your floor doing, he's done it. You want your sink doing, he's done it. Yeah. Your car, your <laughs> kettle, he's got it. Yeah. <laughs> but he's, like, a handyman, but he, he's, like, a handyman in a suit. Yeah. <laughs> But um, obviously when everything happened, he couldn't fix things straight away. And, and he hated it. Yeah, he found that really difficult. But now it's like, I don't know, everyone's just a lot more open, don't you think? Mm, I'm like, always open there. Yeah. Amy's I'd be like, like ugh. Amy would be like, be like Mum, I've got boobs. <laughs> Mum, I have boobs. And we'd be like, <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, Amy, come on. I just didn't. I just told him everything. Yeah, Amy's just like, I didn't even need to tell them because they'd see it. They'd yeah, just I know. be like, alright. Boobs. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> okay. I've got boobs. Mum, I've got boobs. Mum's obsessed with boobs. Mum will kill us for that. That's right. Mum doesn't watch it. No one in this family watches these videos. No. I do, do they? Do no. not watch your videos. No. At all. Neither does dad, neither does mum. What's the point? We know it. We've seen it, been it, got the t shirt, did it. <laughs> I know it. All my friends are like, oh, yeah, we watched Marie's new video. And I'm like, yeah. They're like, did you watch it? I'm like, no. <laughs> no. I lived it. <laughs> you always like them. Yeah. Do you? I try. Ah, you do. No, I try. You don't always look at my subscription box. It's like, really hot in she's here. She's not going home, I know. Jeez. Sorry if you can hear noises. It's very warm. Um. How would you, what would you say is the best way for someone to tell their family about any kind of mental health problems? Um, so if you were whatever if, if range. me. If you, because obviously you're very level headed, you have been through it as an observer. Mm. Do you, what would you say is the best way to tell someone? What, what would you give, what, what's your top tips? Honestly, yeah. tell them. Yeah. There's no way to go around it. Yeah. Don't sugarcoat it. Don't, because it's always going to come out in the end, yeah. one way or another. Just tell them. And as go, soon as possible. I need help. Yeah. That's all you've got to do. Mm -hmm. I because agree. Because otherwise, you're just going to build it up. Like me, <laughs> I'll tell you a little story. <laughs> I lost my dad's earpods. Not a great thing to do. <laughs> Stupid thing. Don't know why I did it. Don't ask me. Right, so I did that. And I, I just broke down. Because I was like, 
of a disappointment already. He's gonna hate me. <laughs> and I was like, I can't face him. I can't look at him. I didn't talk to him for the rest of the week because I was that upset about him. Amy came into a room like, I was like, oh my god, that he quit. I was like, I was like, I don't think they are, they. I was like, I've got 20 pounds. Like, can, can I just have 20? Can I just have 30 quid and I'll pay you back? And then, so, and then I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna have it. See, you're so good. This is another way that we're so different, is that I would be like, right, how can I nick a pair? I was thinking, Where? I was looking everywhere, I was like, what are the best, like... But you're so honest, I was gonna replace I love them. it. Yeah. <laughs> and, I was gonna, and I was like, oh shit, then one's got like a clip on it and he's gonna know, one's bigger, he's gonna know. <laughs> So I was just like, right, I'm just going to tell him, but I can't tell him face to face because it'll probably like, like the disappointment, <laughs> I can't deal. Right, so, so I did that and I texted him and he was like, right, I'm not happy about this. And I was like, I know you know. I know you know. So he came home and I was just like, I couldn't look at him. And I was like, don't look me in the eye. And this is all over some <laughs> earpods. <laughs> don't look me in the eye. <laughs> you were like, no more leave. <laughs> <laughs> don't look me in the eye. And I just, I couldn't look him in the eye and I didn't. And then he was like, right, you're gonna have to pay off. And I was like, I'll pay the full amount. And he was like, no, just pay off. And I was like, right, I'll do that. Turns out I didn't even have to pay off. Turns out, nice, it was fine. Dad's always like that though. He's like, he's like hey, it's fine. I, I just need, no, you gave him like 20 quid and he was like, it shows that you care. Yeah, it just shows that you, it just shows that you care. And what was I saying? <laughs> telling, that's what your anecdote was about telling someone. Don't you open up the window. Don't you let up the anecdote. Alright, Barbie and Bills is all you know. What's you stop. Question? You. How should you tell people? No. Just tell them. Yeah. Because there's no way you can get around it. Truth's always going to come out. Yeah. Just tell them. It's, I know, I'm not going to say I know because I never know. I don't get it. I don't mm. have a mental illness. I'm not going to act like I know and I always say that to ever mm. whoever my friends are struggling in. I don't know, mm -mm. but I'm trying to understand from where you're coming from and I know from experience. It's just gonna get worse. And mm. that sounds horrible, mm. but if you don't say anything, it will get worse. Yeah. It does, just cause like, you always think it's, like even you did, you saying that you wouldn't, you didn't say anything because it wasn't bad. And it's cause everyone thinks it's under control. Yeah. Until it's not, until yeah. it's like splits. How did you feel when you found out that mom and dad knew? Oh, I remember. Yeah, I was what, at what? Kira's house. Were you? I don't and it was remember. The day it. before Godiva. Yeah, okay, house. I remember that. And I got a phone call and I was like, you've got to come home. I think I was supposed to sleep over at Kira's or something, I can't remember. Yeah. And I was like, you've got to come home, we've got to tell you something. And he was like, Marie's I remember that. And he was like, Marie's ill. And I was like, do you know what? I went, I know. <laughs> and he went, what? I went, I know. I remember getting in the car and he was like angry at me because I knew. Really? I was, he was like, why did. He was angry at the fact that I had to deal with it and mm. he was like, why didn't you tell me? And yeah. I was like, Bitch, I knew. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I say to you, I can't remember that much. He was just like, Marie's ill. And I don't think, because he didn't understand it. I'm sick. Boo, you whore. So, because he didn't understand it, it was like, well, what do I do? Well, how yeah. do you know? And I don't know. Yeah. And it was just Because, like, like, when, you know, when people, you know, I say to people that they actually had no idea. I don't think some people realise. Oh, no, we had no, no yeah, idea. Like, no idea. Marie, I think we were just really gullible. Like, as a, as a person, I am very gullible. Yeah. And she used to like hurt her hand and she'd be like, oh, I spilled a kettle on it. And then it got to like 10 times of her spilling the kettle. And I think that's when mum was a bit, mum, I, mum told me she, not, she didn't know, but she I think knew the there thing was, something was wrong. Yeah, they knew there was something wrong, but they did, there was no awareness Marie's or warning not the type side. Of person, well, you weren't, you are now. Yeah. You're not the type of person to be like, what's wrong? Yeah. And, and she'd be like, fuck off, I don't know. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. How are you supposed to know? I'd be like, whoa, uh, jeez. Whoa, um, no, but like, there was no, uh, there's no awareness about what to look for in children at the time. There wasn't. Mom and Dad didn't know anything. And they, no. they say the reason they didn't know is because they, it would, it never even crossed their mind that that could be happening. What? How does Amy know when you're struggling now, and what does she do to help? Leave you alone. That <laughs> yeah. sounds horrible. Yeah. But leave you alone. Yeah. Because I'm not gonna help by doing it. How how does it affect daily life? Does it affect it anymore? Did it affect it? It was like walking on eggshells two years ago. Yeah. If Marie was in a bad mood, we'd be like, oh my god, what are we gonna do? It was literally like a grey cloud over the house. Mm. 
and we we were just like shit yeah all of us but now we know what to do we know just to leave you alone mm. and if you're too quiet then we have to go and inspect <laughs> <laughs> it's true though Marie. How this sounds it? horrible but marie was never happy like you no. weren't a happy person you were i'm not naturally a happy upbeat person am i no no like i'm naturally quite reserved right, I am. yeah I'm, like optimistic uh, this is gonna be a long ass video how did your family deal with scars and mental health in general but how how did you feel oh, when yeah. okay yeah say that so obviously there's mental health which is stop doing mental. that i've got a big head as an outsider how did you view it what what, what were your thoughts I remember the first time I just saw them properly because I always I saw them when they were like I open. never used to show my arms out no. at home, did I? So the first time was when we were on holiday. Yeah. I tried to take a coat off to go through security. Oh my god, I remember that. That was so horrible. Yeah. Oh my god, I remember that. Mm. I was wearing my grey cardi, wasn't I? Mm. And he told me to take it off, and Dad was like, We were all like, oh, Dad was like, I'm so sorry. No. I remember he was like, I'm so sorry, because <laughs> I never, um, I didn't show any of them. And they weren't even that bad. Like no. they were not to the extent that they used to be. They're, yeah. They're all right now. Mm. But um, what were your thoughts? I would just, I just, I. Can't take my eyes off of you. <laughs> I was sorry, that was a bit morbid, sorry. <laughs> that was, that was a bit very sexual. weird. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Uh, scarf. <laughs> fetish. <laughs> Can't take my eyes. <laughs> Give me a run. Off of you. <laughs> You're just too good to me. <laughs> oh, so good. sick. Back at it. Back at it again with the white bands. I haven't heard that in years. Neither did I. One sec, I've got to sort myself out now. It's very hot. Let's do take a quick break. Ah! <laughs> 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 no, I just remember being shocked. That was the main did thing. Did you think they were ugly? Were you embarrassed? Honestly. Honestly. Were you I shocked? I never saw them as ugly. I just saw them as sad. Sad. I knew you were going to say that. What yeah, about, so you like, never really, I don't know, Amy was just, Amy's just like, okay, if I you got mental health you. problems, get yourself an Amy. Because <laughs> like, when I used to come home from hospital, everyone would always be like, oh my god, is that an alien? I'd just be like, you're right sis. You'd be no, like, I wouldn't even say hi. I'd you'd just, be like, have you got my yeah, highlighter? Like, you talk, my highlighter. No. <laughs> It just, you would, you I would just, just be normal. like, yeah, and you'd be and like, Jed used to say that as well, Jed yeah, said that. and it was the best thing, so, and we'd even argue, that's yeah. really bad, but we would, we'd no, just, but that's, that's our norm, not anymore, we don't really argue that much anymore, just stop, but, I'd just be normal, because I know I'd want people to act like that with me, like, yes. it's embarrassing for you, but how, okay, so how would you say to someone who's dealing with mental health, either a friend, a sister, what would you say, like, if you had a friend now who was in school with you, struggling, and they told you that they, uh, it didn't have to be self-harm, it could be anxiety or depression, what what would you do? Because obviously, you're just the best at this. You do need to get yourself a name, you guys. I'd just be there for them. But in what way? Because it's very broad saying that. How much? Because I feel like with you, Not it was much. great. Yeah, you weren't, I knew you were there. Me, they tell me. Yeah. They don't want to tell me. It's not my business. Yeah. But I just let, I reassure them that I'm always going to be here. Nothing shocks me. Nothing shocks me. Yeah. Okay. I know shit. Okay. Mm. And I've been through it mm. and I've, I haven't been through it, but you no, know you what I mean? No, you have been through it. Yeah. And it's I'm hard. just, I'm just always like, we're going to get through this. I gotta get through and this. it sounds horrible, but if, it ever did come up I'd use you as an example mm. saying you can hit rock bottom yeah. literal rock bottom and you can get back up mm -hmm. look at you like I honestly it's just mm, I won't say it what I didn't think I'd have you Marie oh no you don't no, but don't okay two years ago I honestly psyched myself myself up for not having a sister and no. that sounds horrible you could have made me cry but no it's fine no, don't I'm cry I'm a bit hyper so it's alright I'm not gonna cry I've never said that to you before no ever well you did you said you'd get a tattoo of me and mum was no I wouldn't get a tattoo <laughs> no, of you yeah. of the moon yeah yeah but Amy was like if you died I know, I'd I, get a tattoo of the I moon was, and I was like I was, and mum was like 
yeah how nice is that and i'm and like you'd be like right guys i was like I'm not gonna guys, I'm not. I, and i've said this to others i've said two years ago i think we all did we all just psyched ourselves up for not having you and just having to mm. deal with it it's horrible and i'm thankful that you are here but see how i'm not crying because i literally like it's desensitized i, I don't care like obviously i care about <laughs> I that just so care. i just don't care <laughs> i care if you do but i'm just i don't no it's it's like you have a very good good at detaching yourself it's, it's important right that you have to be there for them so that they know yeah. you're there but to the point where you're not so don't ask them, them as well in, in school if they're all right obviously yeah. you'll be like you're right yeah, or just like, or have like a thing, you'll just be like, yeah, like, no, like, just be like, and then like, mm. or like, yeah, like you have to, you kind of talk have to, talk about it outside of school, yeah. school is not a place to talk about no. it, school is a place to take your mind off it, yes. that's why I always went to school when you were ill, I never missed yeah. a day because I always went in, and Amy I like, never, and never allowed anyone at school to know, like teachers, Oh, no, my friends knew, but you know, my teacher No, you, I, like, mum wanted to say to the teacher, just because it's fucking hard. And, like, you know, if, if you're struggling, they need to know why. If you I think the teacher found out, but I don't know how they found out. Miss Paybody. No. Geography. No. Who? She knew because I told her. What did you say to her? I, ju I just remember it was the day. Well, she in taught me. Yeah. And yeah. I was just like, I can't do this anymore. Mm. That was the only time I was, I cried. Mm. And obviously I cried when you went in. Yeah. But I never really cried about it. I feel like I can't cry. I don't feel like I can, but I do. Like, I don't notice it, but it is true. I feel like I have to be strong for others because they've got nothing else. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I was, re I was watching my star sign videos and stuff. And that is a trait that we hold is... We have to be strong, Sagittarius, for others around, and that is true. I feel like I have to be that. I think I also get it from dad as well. Mm. I feel like I have to be the foundation mm. and be strong for others, and I don't. I know I don't, but I like being the strong person. But in saying that, like we obviously say that it's important to take on emotions. Do you think that's detrimental? You doing that? No. Do you think it badly affects you? No. Is it a choice? Yeah. But is it, does it affect you? Because I know personally, if I, d I get very overwhelmed very quickly. You don't seem to get overwhelmed. I honestly don't think I have like a thing that makes me angry. No. I've never been angry once. Your, I'm your emotions about. kind of go like every blue moon, every 10 years. I'm just a happy go lucky. Mm. If, I'm but I get. So you might, I'm an optimist. That's the human heart. Yeah. She has the same birthday as me. Okay. And Sarah <laughs> Donna. Donna. Donna's the same birthday. Six, six of December. Fuck off, that's not your birthday. That's not your birthday. Yeah, but she's a Sagittarius. Yeah. Every person I like is a Sagittarius. Okay, we'll finish off because the battery's flashing. How how are you gonna <coughs> sorry. Round it off. What's what's your view? What's what's the what's the blurb? What do you mean? What's the thesis? Be there. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Just be there. Everyone's got their own st st stuff to deal yeah. with. But you always have time for people. I always have time for people. Don't judge people. Yeah. Because you never know it could happen to anyone. Mm hmm Do you feel like if you ever had mental health problems that you'd feel able to talk to someone? Definitely. And is that because you know how bad it can get? Or is that just because, like... It's, it, it's what needs to happen, don't you think? Yeah. It just needs to start happening. Yeah. Especially for boys. Yes. Talk. Yeah, no, that's so important. Talk. Especially in school and that. Like, Just Do you think friends are good people to tell? Yes, but not too much. I agree, because... There's no need for that. All right, All right Siri mate. You little dickhead. You need to talk. You need to know that someone is there for them. And you need... And on the flip side... Catch one on the flip side, motherfucker. motherfucker. Be open to people talking to you. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up. What else should they do? subscribe follow you on oh yeah follow me on amy underscore seneschal for most of my things Ugh, that was don't so add shit. me on snapchat though sorry <laughs> don't <laughs> don't add me on snapchat no so uh, i'll leave all of her instagram twitter, twitter. stuff I need those twitter followers babes and we'll see you well i will see you soon amy what any last words Good. Bye!
Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> That's nearly every single. It's just you going. <laughs> I'm like, get out of your face.